It won't be an easy journey to let go of your clutter, but the process of going through your house, room by room, and starting to identify what you no longer need, what no longer brings value or pleasure to you, and which you could let go of, having a calculation of all those items in your house is a simple process. Because once you have a list or a summary of the things that you no longer need or require, at that point, you are able to follow a very simple process and move them out of your home. If you've become a clutter junkie over time, then this journey is going to require you to be brave as we move along a path towards a home with less burden and more joy, to a place where you know what you have and where it is. If you simply have more stuff than you need to live a happy and fulfilling life, and cupboards and wardrobes bulging with stuff you neither use nor wear, then you'll enjoy the practical satisfaction and emotional relief that comes with the letting go of the unwanted, the unneeded and the undesirable stuff that is clogging the arteries of your living space. Imagine the pleasure of coming home to a place where everything is where it should be, where you only have what you need or you love in the house, and where you don't lose a half an hour or an hour a week looking for something that you sure is here, but in actual fact is over there or over here or behind that door or in that cupboard, of coming to a place where you know where everything is. Imagine also what might happen if you, in your search, as you move around your home, you find items which are special, but which you had forgotten you had, or you had no idea of where they were within your home, you can reconnect with those items, either to keep them and enjoy them, but have them on display in your house, or to think, actually, I know this person within my family or social network who would really appreciate this, and I can gift it to them. Alternatively to that, you can come across items in your search as you move through the property that you can sell and package and let go of in exchange for money that can either sit in your savings account and benefit you or which can be used to buy pleasurable activity or memories in the form of a holiday or a special occasion. How do you calculate what you might find as you go through your home? Think of the example of me with those 96 boxes. 80 of the boxes contained second-hand books. If I just put a low value of three pounds or five dollars on each item, I ended up with eight thousand pounds, ten thousand dollars of books that I was able to slowly put online and sell on eBay and receive regular, not consistent, but regular income from listing more than a thousand books and having those sold, popping them in mail order bags, sending them out to the post office and receiving credits from eBay as I let go of those things. 20 crates of books brought me in an income that was sufficient to pay for international air travel and a move to another country. Those books have been sitting in my house for more than five years. Because the money that I had spent on those books was dead money, I couldn't regard as it invested money. It was just £8,000 worth of value which I could start to access by listing five or six books every evening after work on eBay and sometimes at weekends getting 20 or 30 away and starting to see sales from those books. Some I sold individually and got very good income on. Others I found it easier to sell in little batches. So I might put 20 ladybird books or 20 or 30 penguin books in a box, list those as a lot and somebody could buy an instant collection to fill one shelf within their home. Perhaps books that had been part of their own childhood or adolescent memories and they wanted those as a happy reminder of positive times. But bit by bit, I was able to sell those books and bring in thousands of pounds worth of income and turn the still stagnant energy of crates and boxes of unread books into something living and meaningful that brought benefit to our family.